What is up, Broski Nation? The Broski Place here, and welcome to the third episode of my Afterbirth Plus modding tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to get and learn about custom tiers and effects. So, I know you guys have been requested this one a lot, and I mean a lot. And as a thank you for your support, I am here to give you guys the way to get custom tiers and effects, and also other stuff so this is gonna be a Lua tutorial so we're getting back to Lua so if you guys could smash that like button we're absolutely awesome and without further ado let's show the code and let's explain how you can make your own custom tiers and effects let's do this welcome ladies and gentlemen in Lua 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 and here we are in Zero Brain Studio and a lot of people have been asking me how you can get the plugins, like the plugins that are in the description. Well, it's actually pretty easy. In order to get the plugins and install them, you have to go to project, project directory, and then Lua Impeter. And there you will see the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth API. And click on there, and there you go. Now you have everything set up. So, let's start with the beginning. So, how do you make this awesome code that I just made it? I have put a comments there. <laughs> I have put a comments here so you guys know what to do. So let's do first start with the first one, which is a really special one, which I'm gonna keep in the description for you guys. Uh, which you can copy and your Lua code. This one is called Tearflex and BOOM! Look at that! Holy shit, what are these, Brolski? I never saw those in my life. That's true, because this is a brand new code that someone found on the internet. It's basically the code that allows us to use Tearflex, which is absolutely amazing because no one had Discovered Tearflex yet and how to use them and now finally someone on reddit posted this so credits to what was the name again? I'm checking his name now guys. Don't worry. I'm, I'm checking his name. Where the fuck is he? <laughs> Where is he? I want to know what his name is. Um, oh god. I don't know. I Honestly don't know what his name is to be honest. I wish I did but Let me just let, let me just quickly show you what um, his name was so uh, reddit.com slash r slash the modding of Isaac that was basically it there we go and here we are a uh, new that should be it new yes okay tier effect changes nope um, popular oh, here we go it's here there so the evil pickle so credits to the evil pickle he made this uh, all work so uh, credits to him and also to uh, to Snailik because he's also the one that came up with it so pretty cool stuff and now let's move on with the tutorial so you have all these flags what are these uh, Brolski well all these flags have a effect and I'm not talking about the visual effect I'm talking about the tier effect itself so I'm talking about Ipecac, Tiny Planet, Anti-Gravity uh, gravity, Cricket's body, rubber cement, you know, all that good stuff to uh, put in your own tiers, and that's really cool. So as you can see, every flag has its own little value, and you keep, need to keep this in mind because basically this means uh, lower than, so T is lower than one. So basically that is for the for the game to recognize if it's the right number of the right idea so as you can see you have all these flags uh, you can just put them here and then just close it you don't need it so let's move on with the code so we started with local mod register mod I called my tiers you can call it whatever the hell you want next we have my item ID and I just uh, get item ID by name then we have tier flag this is the first one that you guys gotta have it if you want to do this properly you want to have tier flag falls so you can uh, kind of prevent looping because that's really important for what we're gonna do so next up you want to start a new function gonna call this function MC evaluate or anything like that just basically like catch update or something like that and then you want to do um, then you want to do player comma catch flag the next thing you want to make a local player that um, local player is Isaac dot get player zero the reason for that is because um, this Value doesn't get recognized because local isn't located anywhere else. So that's why you put it here I don't know why but okay uh, next up you do if catch flag is equal to catch flag dot catch tier flag and now here we go because now we're updating the player tier flags and uh, Now we're going to do the cool stuff. So if player has collectible my item ID, which is your item Then here comes the comment Player.tierflex is player.tierflex plus tierflex dot flag ipecac dot 
I mean, not dots, I mean plus. Uh, so player.tierflex is player.tierflex plus tierflex plus flag um, underscore epicac plus tierflex dot flag underscore poisoning and tier flag is true. So basically what this means is the game will know that the tier that you that Isaac is currently shooting uh, needs to be adding a new tier flag which is epicac and poisoning. So that's really awesome. Else if catch flag is catch flag catch damage then this is my first code. This uh, code allows you to create your own synergy. So I tried to make my own synergy here by allowing um, the virus uh, to be synergizing with this item, which is pretty cool. So if player has collectible, collectible item, collectible virus, and player has collectible my item idea, then synergy code, here we go. Player damage is player damage plus one. That's basically it. So um, yeah, that's how you do that. And um, you need to, another thing that's really important is you need to have in your items XML, you need to have this. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Tear flag. You need to have this in your uh, catch, otherwise it doesn't work. So put it in there, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay. Let's move on to the next code. So then we have some ends, and then we got function mod color. This is basically one that will allow us to modify the color of our tier. So I did local player and get the player data there. Then we have if player has collectible, which all item plus tier flag is true, which is from this function then here we go player tier color is color and then I set up a color which is green because this is red this is green this is blue this is the alpha offset this is another offset and this is another offset and so on and so forth then then I turn it back to tier flag false in order to switch tier flag to false to prevent looping and finally we have uh, this mod damage pretty important uh, because even though you have this awesome uh, Ipecac effect, it won't help with explosive damage towards enemies. So you have to make a mod uh, function to uh, have like an entity damage, which I don't have at the moment because I was stupid and I forgot I deleted it due to a stupid thing that I did. So um, I'm gonna add it real quickly here. So you do mod callbacks, obviously, no, no typos there, and you want to put entity like that take damage there we go and then you want to do mod damage then you want to do entity player and then we do entity type dot player dot entity player there we go so here you go and uh, this function basically allows us to um, check if there is a damage and if there is then um, we will use animate set in order to have uh, yeah, to let uh, to change the play into sad, so we know that it's working. So now that we got the code out of the way, let's try it out, and after that, we're going to finish the episode, and hopefully, it will help. So here we go. Let's see this beautiful code in action in the Binding of Isaac, because that's the most fun part. So here we go. We just put this right for you guys. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing mm -hmm. pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. There we go. Life was simple. Okay, so we're now in the Binding of, uh, Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. And uh, as you can see, the mod is working. There's no old there or something. So we have done everything right. Now let's try it out. And of course, if you guys want to download this mod, it is on the workshop. So download it. Just search for um, tears and there you will find the mod so you can use it as a reference. So you can make it your own. So here we go. Normal Isaac and let's do this. The workshop link will also be in the description. So don't worry about that. So we are in the burning basement. And let's do gift item and then we do C511 and then we have the tears. Oh look at that, we have a new costume as well. Yep, I used the Ipecac costume. And now look at the tears, so here we go. Boom! Green explosions flow, look at that. That is awesome. Now let's, as you can see the Ipecac effect is working perfectly. Now let's get inside here and uh, oh no, we cannot get past these rocks. Fuck rocks! There we go. Fuck them! <laughs> and there we go, it's it's freaking OP, but I like it. 
It's like poison epicac. You can say it like poison epicac. You can make like poison epicac pretty cool. So uh, as you can see, we're going inside the treasure room and we find uh, the finger. Watch where it points at. That's pretty cool. I like this item a lot. So now we're gonna synergize it with the virus. So we're gonna do gift item, and then we do the virus, and that is going to give us a invisible damage up. Like you don't see it right now, but it's invisible. Invincible. There we go. Look at that. And as you can see, the enemies also get poisoned, which is pretty good. So uh, yeah, look at that. It's it, it's a really powerful item. And um, so we can use this, and all we can also use this to get like secret rooms and stuff like that, um, which is pretty nice. As you can see, I just opened one as we talk, as we speak. Unbelievable! Oh, this is a special secret room. I've never been in this one. Oh shit! Okay, never mind. Well, let's go to the boss room and finish off this run. Uh, look at that! I'm just poisoning them all. So easy. Um, that's pretty nice, so let's go in the boss room and play against the Rackman. Which is already getting poisoned. That is amazing, because he is actually... Um, the Ipecac works perfectly with Poison Touch. Um, which it, it's synergized with each other, as you can see. Because Poison Touch allows if we hit the enemy, it will get poisoned. So that is really nice, and I can just use Ipecac. Need to be careful though, that we don't use like... We need to make it like synergize with something like Pyromaniac or something. Cause that will be nice. We'll make it really OP as well, so I don't know. So here we go. And uh, yeah. Hopefully we manage to get the boss. Come on. Come on. Rackman die boy. Here we go. And we done it. And we died. <laughs> We fucking died before we could get a final item. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this little mod tutorial. Tomorrow will be a new mod. And obviously, you guys can always check out the workshop links and all the descriptions. And if you have any questions, anything you want to know, just go and ask your questions in the comment section below. And I'll check you guys all later. Broski plays. This is what Broski plays. And stay Broski. Broski slam. Bam!